The anti-smoking squad has the power to break a business. This is prohibited, the inspector says. You can't smoke inside. Go outside and do it. As a first offender, the manageress faces a 500 euro fine. In extreme cases, repeat offenders can lose their business licenses. But all she gets is a friendly warning. At the moment, it's only the phony war against smoking. The authorities are going to start cracking down properly until the end of the summer. We're not here to punish them first time around, the inspector says. Greeks respond very badly to punishment. What we try to do, he says, is to cultivate an atmosphere of cooperation. It's going to be difficult for me because I smoke. And if I want a cigarette, I don't really want to leave the premises. I want to stay inside and keep an eye on things. But I'm prepared to comply with the law. The health ministry is upset by its suggestions that the new legislation will be unenforceable. A lot of people are starting to, to call and ask help to quit smoke. So I think that we're going to have a, a drop in the percentage of smokers in Greece, as it happened in other countries as well, with enforcement of anti-smoking laws. Some legal refuges for nicotine addicts remain, like this Athenian cafe, whose owner has chosen to declare it as a smoking venue. The owner regards the new law as a breach of civil liberties, resents the fact that it was imposed without discussion, and has set up a new political party in protest. Everybody must have the opportunity to choose to smoke or not to smoke, but not the smoker press the non-smokers and not the non-smokers press the smokers. This taxi driver couldn't be more blatant in his disregard for the no-smoking sign in his cab. Passengers offended by his habit can report him to the inspectors, but for the time being, he's getting away with it. Malcolm Rabin, BBC News, Athens.